If a dryer won't start when you press the start button, but you hear a humming sound, there's a strong probability the dryer's drive motor has failed. To help determine this, you should first inspect the dryer's blower wheel for an obstruction that may be preventing it from turning. The blower wheel should be able to rotate freely when turned by hand. If the wheel does not turn freely, it's likely the bearings in the drive motor have seized and the motor will need to be replaced. You can take the next step to test the drive motor by using a multimeter to determine if the drive motor has electrical continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the part. If applicable, document the location of the wires connected to the motor, then disconnect those wires, or the motor's wire harness connector. Using the appliance's wiring diagram, determine where the motor's start and run windings are. Isolate the start and run windings if possible by detaching the wires. Rotate the multimeter's range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Now contact the black meter lead to the motor protector terminal and the red lead to the start winding wire terminal. If the meter display shows 2 to 5 ohms of resistance, the drive motor start winding has electrical continuity. Keeping the black meter lead on the motor protector terminal, move the red meter lead to the run winding wire terminal to see if that has proper electrical continuity. If both windings show 2 to 5 ohms of resistance, the motor has continuity and should be functioning properly. If the display doesn't change when testing either the start or run winding, the motor has no continuity and you'll know it's defective. You can also use the multimeter to test the motor's thermal protector to confirm the motor can receive the voltage it needs to run. Disconnect the wires from the thermal protector terminals. Contact the black meter lead to one of the thermal protector's terminals and the red lead to the other terminal. If the thermal protector has proper continuity, the multimeter display will indicate close to zero ohms of resistance. If the thermal protector has no continuity, the entire motor will need to be replaced with a new one. 